So this is the tutorial for my strap connectors that are in my Etsy shop at the moment. We're going to take a strip of webbing um, approximately 60 inches long, 150 centimeters, and we're going to cut about 10 inches, 25 centimeters off the end of that. You'll also need some strap connectors that you've cut with the files, and there is instructions on what to do with those with putting the interfacing etc on the back of those for strengthening them. So what we're going to do is run the short end through our rectangle ring, bring the edges together. Now it's good to protect those either with fray check or melting them before we do this. So run a strap connector through a swivel hook. Now I've put double sided tape on here just to make it a little bit easier. And we're going to sandwich those ends in between the two ends of the strap connector. Line up all our ends, make it all nice and neat and clip them in place. And what we're going to do is stitch around on the vinyl or the leather fairly close to the end in a rectangle just to make it nice and neat. You can also put a rivet in here which looks really smart. So take the raw end of our webbing strap and sandwich it between the strap connector like we did at the other end. This is a single layer only, but treat it just the same. Line it up, make it all nice and neat, and we're going to stitch around in a rectangle again. Right, so that's all done. And now I've also folded over just a little end on the raw end. Just stitch down there, just whatever. I've used um, probably a piece that's about two and a half centimeters and just folded it over the end about an inch. Right, take your strap, face up, run it through your fingers so that it's all the same way, so it's nice and flat. Take that end, run it up through a slide adjuster, back down the other side, so it's sitting over the bar. Now I run this loop fairly big because I'm going to bring this end back up through here in a minute, just makes it easier. And make sure everything is sitting all the way, so that it's the same way up. Run it down through the rectangle ring that we used attached to our strap connector. Up the far side of that adjusting bar in the middle and back down so that that middle piece is just sitting over the bar. Now I do it this way so that when we pull our strap together later that's hidden in between the two pieces so it's nice and neat. So now just take the pieces that are over the bar and stitch it down there with a couple of rows. And that's our strap. Pull it tight, neaten it all up, and all that's left to do is attach it to your bag. So if you'd like to see more, this is the strap that goes with our little mama crossbody bag, and the pattern for her is in our Etsy shop. So take a look. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching.